Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and today we have some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered playing around with the brand new BOS-14 Assault Rifle, which of course is the newest one to be added to Modern Warfare Remastered. It's a pretty unique assault rifle overall. For starters, it has a 35 round magazine by default. Its first five bullets have a completely reloaded magazine, deal increased damage, and as a result, Testing this gun has been pretty freaking annoying so far. What I've been trying to do with these videos is give you guys some insight as to how powerful the gun actually is and what you can expect if you actually unlock it. But this one was pretty difficult to test because I had to test it with and without stopping power, with and without a silencer, with the increased damage, and without the increased damage. And then, of course, I mixed them all together into a bunch of different setups. I was able to get a good result, and I think I can teach you guys pretty much everything you need to know about the BOS-14 assault rifle, but keep in mind that the official weapon stats from the game files have not been revealed yet and so my information will likely be close but it will likely also not be perfect remember i'm testing everything with hand eye and my editing software and so i'm giving you guys the best information i can with what i have to work with be sure to check out marvel 4's den Kirsten page to see the official numbers when they become available there's a link to that down there in the description with all that out of the way let's get into the video so i tested out the bos 14's damage at four different ranges real up close here to test out maximum damage behind this tank here to test out the close to medium range damage next to this second tank to test out the medium to long range damage and of course this fence to test out the long range damage like I mentioned there are a ton of variables when it comes to this weapon so I'll try my best to get through it as quickly as I can while also not boring you all to death so without stopping power utilizing bonus damage from the first five shots the BOS 14 is a three shot kill up close and up to medium range Ranges, and it's a four shot kill at long ranges not utilizing the bonus damage whatsoever the BOS 14 without stopping power is a three shot kill up close and it's a four shot kill from medium range and onwards while using stopping power utilizing bonus damage the BOS 14 is a two shot kill from close to medium range which drops down to a three shot kill at long range not utilizing bonus damage whatsoever a stopping power BOS 14 is a three shot kill at end in all ranges. Now to make matters complicated, the silencer on the BOS-14 does not negatively affect it whatsoever except at one odd particular range. So for the most part, there's no downside to using a silencer on a BOS-14. A stopping power silenced BOS-14 can three shot a target at any and all ranges and a not stopping power BOS-14 can secure a four shot kill at any and all ranges with a silencer equipped. The weird discrepancy here is that while using a silencer, while not using stopping power, and while not benefiting from the bonus damage from the first five shots, your three shot kill range drops down to a four shot kill range a bit faster than if you weren't using a silencer to try to give you some context this is about where your three shot kill range drops to four shots while not using stopping power not utilizing bonus damage and not using a silencer and here is where it falls off under the same circumstances but while using a silencer now we did test this a ton it's a really weird discrepancy i can't wait for the official numbers to actually come out to try to explain this because it really makes no sense to me whatsoever maybe it's the way that we tested it but overall aside from this weird little bug here i'm not even gonna call it a bug this weird little discrepancy here the silencer on the bos 14 has no real downsides so if you like the iron sights which they are pretty good use the silencer you're gonna be okay there's really no downside whatsoever besides that one weird range and that one weird circumstance the fire rate on the bos 14 looks to be about 800 rounds per minute or the same as the mp5 and the ak-74u statistically the BOS-14 has the second fastest fire rate among all of the assault rifles in the game, but its in-game fire rate is actually about 740 due to frame rounding. Now, I know this sounds complicated, and believe me, I don't even understand it entirely myself, and it's incredibly annoying to try to test and figure out something you don't entirely understand, but the best way I can explain it is to show you guys this. So, the BOS-14 has a 35-round magazine, and the MP5 has a 30-round magazine. So, we are going to start shooting at the exact same time and end when the mp5 is depleted as you guys can see the mp5 ends exactly
exactly when the BOS-14 has five rounds left. And so from what we can determine here, they have pretty much the same fire rate. I can show you the actual speed the BOS-14 fires. The math comes out to being just under 740 rounds per minute. And if I show you the actual fire rate of the MP5, the result is pretty much the same, right? For some reason, with frame rounding, the fire rate of the MP5 gets reduced quite a bit here in Modern Warfare Remastered. Your in-game actual fire rate is much lower than it actually is statistically on paper. And the same thing seems to be true here for the BOS-14. Frame rounding is a very confusing subject, something that I don't understand entirely, definitely not well enough to teach it or explain it to others. But if there's one thing we could take away from this, the BOS-14 fires at about the same speed as the MP5. The MP5 fires statistically at 800 rounds per minute, which makes the BOS-14 the second fastest firing assault rifle in Modern Warfare Remastered behind only the M4 Carbine. Although due to frame rounding, the M4 Carbine and the G36 here are pretty much the same. So it's freaking confusing. I hate fire rates, man. Calculating fire rates is freaking confusing. But if there's one thing to take away from it, it fires as fast as the MP5 and the AK-74U. The reload speed on an empty magazine of the BOS-14 is about 2.94 seconds, making it one of the faster ones in the assault rifle category. The reload speed on a half-empty magazine is about 2.5 seconds, which is pretty much average for assault rifles. And the add time, which means the overall time it takes from the beginning of your reload animation to when the ammo is actually in your magazine, which is enabling you to actually begin the process of reload canceling, if you can do that, is about 1.33 seconds. But again, due to frame rounding, it's most likely going to be 1.5 seconds to be in line with every other assault rifle in the game. Recoil is moderately low on the BOS-14, but idle sway is high, making it very difficult to hit targets at a distance. And like I mentioned earlier, I would say the iron sights are pretty open and easy to manage. So with all these stats and testing out of the way, here are my thoughts and feelings on the BOS-14 after I've been using it for quite a bit. I feel as though it's a very middle-of-the-road assault rifle in the grand scheme of things. The no-downside thing on the silencer is a pretty good perk. It makes it one of the better silenced weapons in the game, and with my experience, the iron sights are pretty good, right? You can do pretty well with them. But I really feel as though the idle sway and the overall just clunky feeling, I feel as though the weapon model is so big that I feel clunky when I'm running around with it. It's an assault rifle, but I feel slow when I'm using it. The idle sway makes it so, I don't know, it's, just, it's harder to take people out at a distance. I don't have a ton of success with it. Not nearly the amount of success that I see with the M4 Carbine, the G36C, the AK-47, Lord knows the M16, all the other assault rifles in the game. I'm not saying it's a bad gun, but there's something about it that for me personally just does not click. And I think it's something on my end because statistically I can look at this thing and I can see it's very powerful, right? The damage is certainly there. If you're using stopping power on this thing, whether or not you're utilizing the bonus damage of the first five shots, it's a three shot kill at any and all ranges. It's a powerful rifle, right? It's very good. But there, there's just something about it that does not click with me personally. I have not had a ton of success with it so far, and I, it has to be me. It just has to be me. Everybody seems to really enjoy this rifle. I don't hate it. I enjoy using it. It's fun having a new weapon in the game. It's fun unlocking challenges, unlocking camos for it again. It's fun trying out new attachments and doing testing in private matches to try and learn what we can about the weapon. I enjoy using it, but I don't have a ton of success with it, which is why I say it's a very middle of the road assault rifle but overall i'm excited to play with it a little bit more to try to learn to utilize it a little bit better and just really it's fun having new guns and i'm pretty disappointed that this is a supply drop weapon because i want to ask you guys like what are your thoughts and feelings on it but chances are a very small number of you have actually been able to unlock this thing so very few of you actually have a lot of experience with it so far so those of you that actually have unlocked it what are your thoughts and feelings regarding the bos 14 do you guys think it's pretty powerful how do you guys like to run it for me personally stopping power and a red dot sight silencer again is fine but i find that with all the idle sway the red dot sight helps me a little bit at a distance i just i have more success that way that's how i personally li like to run it stopping power and a red dot sight but i'd love to hear what you guys think about that down there in the comment section below what do you guys like to run with it personally and hopefully more of you get access to this weapon in the future because it is a lot of fun to play around with new guns uh, if you guys have been following my channel i have unlocked the fang 45 and the bos 14 with this past update these are the first and only like dlc supply drop weapons i've had access to i just never had the right parts or got the right drops or anything as supply drops previously i finally got access to weapons for the first time like six months into the game into the game's life cycle and it's freaking fun having new guns i gotta say so i'd love to hear what you guys think down there in the comment section below. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.